Hi guys, so today we're going to be looking at creating a very simple run cycle in Blender, um, just something like this. So uh, you can download this character from a link in the description, and it should look something like this. So this is the starting file here, and as you can see, this, this character's just got a very simple rig applied to it. You can control the leg and foot like so and uh, the arms you just control regularly and um, yeah it's pretty much how you'd expect these bones um, point the knees and yeah it's everything so I'm just going to reset the positions there and we'll get started so let's split our view and go into the dope sheet action editor and we can create a new action and we'll just call this run and we can press this F button over here to make sure the animation doesn't get deleted and now we can set up our first position okay so for our first position it's going to be where the character's right leg is just about to make contact with the ground so um, this leg will be trailing back here somewhere and uh, this leg will be about to make contact just like that and uh, he'll be leaning forwards into the run with the head a little bit back so that um, he's still looking forwards even lean him a little bit more I think just something like that and we're not going to worry about the arms yet we'll do those later let's select everything press I to insert a keyframe and um, let's go into the next frame where we're going to have the character at the lowest position in the run um, so this this leg is going to be flat on the ground and uh, he'll be quite a bit down like this and this leg will be sort of thrusting forwards so let's insert that keyframe and go one forward again actually let's go two forwards this time we don't need to really worry about this middle keyframe here we can just let the computer fill it in um, the next big big um, sort of important frame is on frame 4 where he'll be coming up like this and uh, the foot's going to be just sort of pushing off the ground here um, we can sort of make it uh, flatten a little bit like that and um, this leg will have come all the way past, sort of to there, and the foot will be now pointing upwards, something like that, I'd imagine. And we can insert the keyframe. Now let's go into this middle one that we skipped out and just correct this here. We want this to be completely flat on the ground, like that. And uh, this foot we actually want to be pointing straight down to the ground. Okay, let's set the keyframe. So now we've got something that looks like that. Okay, so the next frame, um, both feet are going to be off the ground. And the foot's no longer going to be bent, so we can just press Alt-R to clear the rotation. And uh, now this will be lifted off and this can be sort of stretched out a bit more and we'll insert the keyframe we actually want him, his whole body to move up a little bit higher something like that yeah okay now for the next frame um you still got to have both feet off the ground and it'll just be sort of coming down slightly um but just very slightly something like that. We just sort of want him to hang in the air for a moment there. And then on the next frame, he's going to come down a lot. And this foot will be about to make contact again, which is, of course, the same as this frame over here, only um, the reverse. So we can just select everything here, press Control C, that'll copy the pose. And we can come here to the last frame and press Shift Control V which will paste it in reverse, and we can press I to add the keyframe. So now, we've got it going all the way like this, and 
contact. So now's a good time to tweak things and then we'll do the swinging of the arms and then we'll copy all these keyframes over um, for the other for the other side. So let's see what's not quite working. Um, this looks good. It's going down and then it starts coming up. Um, I don't want this to be bent quite so much. Okay. Now I think there's too much downwards movement over here. It's too it's too sudden. So over here, let's um, make them already come down a little bit more. Yeah, maybe this leg shouldn't go so far out because then it's having to come back too far. Yeah, that looks more natural, I think. Now from the front view, I want to do a similar sort of thing, just going through each frame and uh, seeing what we can alter for the better. So um, the knees are a little bit sort of um, pointing in a bit too much. So let's pull this out just like that. Um, and insert a keyframe there. And we don't want it to keep resetting to how it was, so once again, we can just delete these here. Now let's see. Okay, so over here, now it's pointing out too much. I want it to come in a bit. So... It'll still be out over there, but over here, I must come back. Okay. And this knee can be out a little bit over there. Otherwise, it's looking good. So we want the reverse to be pasted on the end here once again. So just select everything, Control C and Shift Control V over here, and then just I to insert the keyframe. So that's looking good. Um, obviously that's way too fast. Uh, in the end we're probably going to scale it by 1.5 or something. But um, yeah, we don't want to do that yet. And what we want to do now is just um, get these arms swinging. So let's first clench these, um, these hands into a fist. So we can just select the finger bone and double tap R. And just clench them up nicely like that. Um, I did a pretty shoddy job, unfortunately, on the rigging of the fingers, but uh, hopefully this will do just for the purposes of this tutorial. So that's looking good. Let's um, bring these arms closer into the side. Uh, just something like that. Let's select everything and press I, insert the keyframe, and now let's place these from the side where we want them. So this leg is currently back, so this arm must be forwards. We can just give this hand a bit of swing, and this one will just be the reverse of that. Um, maybe, maybe just a little bit more there like that okay and you can insert that keyframe and uh, we'll do the same thing we did with control C go all the way to the end and shift control V just um, hold on why did it not paste my fingers in oh okay so what we need to do is you can see that on each of these frames here it's being reset because um, we keyframed these all in initially. So um, let's just select all these bones here. And now you can see which ones they are because they're highlighted in this view. So the first frame is how we want it, and all the frames after that are not how we want them. So let's select all those keyframes 
I press X and delete. Okay. And now we can go here and control C, shift control V and press I to insert the frame. Okay, so now it's swinging like this. So that's good, but um, we actually want when the when the player, I mean the character, is uh, completely off the ground, this is going to be the furthest point of the swing, and then it's going to come back a little bit over here. So on this frame here, we're going to have this swung as far back as it's going to go, just something like that, and insert that keyframe, and then so it swings all the way out, and then it just sort of starts coming back over here. Um, let's swing this out even further, I think. Yeah, that might be too much. I'm not sure. We'll only really see when uh, when we put it all together. Um, let's make this curl a little bit. Okay, now we're going to mirror all these keyframes on the other side. So let us select all of these, and uh, we're going to press Control Alt U to bring up the preferences. And in the add-ons tab, go down to animation, and you want to enable this flip animation add-on. Um, and then you can press T in the 3D view, and you can see you've got this flip animation over here. And we want to have append mode turned on, so we don't want to replace these keyframes, we want to add to them. And our end frame is 7, so make sure your end frame is 7. And now for this to work, we also need to go down here and turn on automatic keyframe insertion and also press this little key icon. And now we can just say flip animation and you can see it will have done that for us. So that's all good. Now let us see how this looks. Um, so we can scale this out by about 1.5. Let's see, this last frame is keyframe 19. So we want our end frame to be keyframe 18, since frame 1 and 19 are exactly the same. And now let's, um, let's hide these bones and press play. OK, so I think that's a decent enough result. Um, I hope that you have learned something from this and that you can apply this to your own animations. So yeah, good luck and uh, thanks for watching. Cheers.